Yo, what's good everyone? Okay, right now I don't know the direction this video is going, but I do know that I just arrived in Nassau, the Bahamas. Let me make this a little darker so you can see behind me. So we just arrived in Nassau port and I am gonna be meeting up with two running buddies and we're gonna be logging a few miles together. And then when we come back, I may show you around if you didn't already know, we're on a quick four day cruise and the water is absolutely gorgeous. Look how blue it is, beautiful. Okay, let me catch up with you in just a little bit once uh, once we get docked and I get off the ship. Hi right, guys, finally made it off the ship. Now I just have to walk to the port and I've got to find my buddies. I know they're waiting for me. We've been texting back and forth. This is gonna be good. Oh, one more thing. I also have to let my watches find the GPS before I start the run. It always takes just a little longer when you get to a new place for the watches to find the satellites. So I ran into my first snag. The second I got away from the port, I connected to a cell signal, but I couldn't send a text message. My phone wasn't working at all. So after like sitting around for 10 minutes, I figured I should ask someone. And I asked a very kind lady and she let me use her phone to call my buddy Antoine. And he's just a few minutes away, so we should be getting underway any second. Oh, and it is a beautiful morning here in Nassau, 76 degrees, so not too hot. It's definitely not like summertime. It actually feels pretty good right now. It's gonna be a hot run, but not a crazy hot run, you know? What, John? That's the first thing I did when we pulled in. I was like, let me get those satellites. You got Chorus? Well? Chorus, yeah. Yeah, me too. You got the pace too? Yeah, Chorus. Thanks buddy, right, take care, I'll see you around man. All right. All right, I had a great time running with Antoine and Jason. Oh, it was so nice. We went over to the east side of the island. It was nice and quiet. And now I'm back in Nassau and, uh, and there's a lot more noise. There's a lot more noise, a lot of construction, all the tourists are running around. We did only knock out like four and a half miles and I want to get just a couple more miles in. So I'm going to head out. I'm going to run over to the bridge that goes over to Paradise Island knock out a few more miles, get some uphill, and then it'll be lunchtime. I actually, I didn't eat breakfast because I left the ship so early, so I am getting a little hungry. And uh, if there's one thing you don't do when you're on a cruise, it's get hungry. Let me log a couple more miles. I'll catch you guys in a bit. This looks like a nice little cut through to the beach. I came across this sign right here. No entry, private property, beware, guard dogs. So I think this is a point where I'm gonna turn around and take it back down the beach that way. I know you guys are looking that way right now and it is the most gorgeous sight with that blue water and the kind of tan sand. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Also, if I wanted to head that way, there is a lot of walking on this very sharp looking coral. And I have enough self-awareness to know that if I was to try and walk over that coral, I would probably fall. And if I fell, I would definitely hurt myself. So I know better than that. I am gonna run back down this beach. It's not, not a bad thing. In fact, it's, it's pretty idyllic. We're gonna run back. My feet are soaked. These waves are coming in a lot higher each time. I guess the, the tide is definitely coming in. That was a super fun run on the beach. That was probably one of the most gorgeous, picturesque pieces of beach I've ever been to. And now, gotta run over this bridge again, get back to the cruise ship. From here, cruise ship is about, I don't know, one and a quarter miles, not too far. 
but this uphill is no joke. Oh, all right, almost there. Oh, I still haven't eaten. It's probably around noon, so I'm getting a little hungry. A little hungry, a little thirsty. Thirsty for a cocktail. All in good time. All in good time. All right, so this video, this video is a little jumping around, I know, but now it's the second day that we are on the cruise. We are in free fall, still in the Bahamas, and it's time for me to go out for another run. So it is very sunny. So it is time for me to put on the sunscreen because I do not want to get more sunburned than I already am. So I have to give myself a good coating. Guys, let me know in the comments if you are serious about putting on sunscreen when you go out for the run. Yesterday when I was in Nassau, I felt like I got way too much sun, but I put so much sunscreen on that I actually I didn't get burnt at all, which is a lovely, lovely feeling. I'm not a fan of that crispy sunburnt feeling. Okay, is it all rubbed in? Ugh. Why didn't you tell me? It's not rubbed in at all. This is actually pretty funny because I've got the camera set up right in front of, I don't know, is this a makeup station? Let me turn the camera around so you can see. So I'm using these lights to light me. That's why, that's why my face is just a little bit yellow on the camera. It's not a nice white sunlight light. All right, enough of that. Onto the run. So I'm making my way down the stairs to get off the ship in Freeport. And I just had a thought that yesterday when I was running on the beach and my feet were getting wet with the waves coming in, I had my striped foot pod on my left shoe. I know you're not supposed to get it wet. You're not supposed to get it soaked. You can get it in the rain, but you can't submerge it. So I don't know. I have to check when I get back and see if it actually works. But yeah, now I'm worried. We'll find out soon enough. <laughs> have a nice day. That's what it's all about. Thank you. Yeah. Hi guys, look, it is a beautiful day. Can you believe it? Look at the look at the blue sky. We were supposed to have rain all day today. Good morning. We we're supposed to have rain all day today and it turns out that it is going to be an absolutely beautiful day. So let's go get this run done. All right, now I've got to make sure I lock my watches, find the GPS, find the satellites before I start that run. Don't you hate it when you forget to do that? You go to a new place and you've got to wait for the GPS to find the satellites. Guys, let me know in the comments if you remember, like back in the day, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, when you had to wait for a minute, sometimes more than a minute, for the watches to find the satellites. What a nightmare. Oh, and the Polar immediately snapped onto the GPS satellites. And the Pace 2, the Chorus Pace 2 is right behind it. All right, I've got to find my way out of the port. I guess now's as good as any time to start running. Start everything. Okay, we're off. I think I'm heading in the right direction. Hey guys, I was thinking that maybe I should have jumped in a taxi and gone somewhere away from the port, but I'm less than a mile away from the port right now. And I found this little quiet road right on the water. It's absolutely lovely, but it's not a beach. It's just coral. It's like a coral shelf. So I'm not going to run on that because as I said yesterday, I know myself better than that. I will fall and really hurt myself. All right, I ran down this trail, but looks like there's no way out. Right behind me, looks like this is a stolen car that just got dumped here, but that's not really the strange part. The strange part is, is there are lots of cassette tapes and VHS tapes just strewn about. I mean, look at this. Look at these cassette tapes. This is a cassette tape of kindness. Laugh and learn life skills series. That's pretty handy. Pretty handy in like the 1980s. Hey guys, let me know in the comments. Do any of you still have a cassette player in your house? I wouldn't know where to find one. And look at this, look at all the tape on the ground. There's like VHS cassette tapes strewn everywhere. All right, let me get back to the main road. Back to this run. It's so nice and quiet. I found some nice back kind of residential roads. Ooh, maybe only two cars have passed me in the last couple of miles. And absolutely everyone that is out walking on the street says hello. Man, Bahamians are so nice. My preference for running a loop rather than an out and back sometimes has its downsides. And today is one of those downsides because 
when I planned out the route, I only had a loop in mind. So now I'm running on the West Sunrise Highway. And obviously it's a highway, there's a lot more traffic. Luckily for me, there's a little worn path. It's just dirt, you can see it behind me way off the side of the road so I don't have to contend with cars moving out of the way I'm a good five meters or so from the edge of the road so I guess it's not that bad also I didn't measure this loop when I looked at it on the map I was like eh that looks about to be 10k or so and I was happy with having a short day but right now I'm over 10k and I think I have I don't know two or three miles to go maybe we'll see I'll check in when I get back uh, right now I'm at 6.75 miles We'll see. Stay tuned. Today I'm back from that run. Managed to knock out a solid 10 miles, which is about 16 kilometers. And I'm actually feeling pretty good. So before I left, the reason I wanted to do 10K was only because I was feeling lazy. And it's probably a lot to do with all the extra food I've been eating, a few extra cocktails every day. But once I got moving, I actually felt pretty good. So now I'm really not tired at all. I ran very easy for that entire 10 mile run and I'm really happy that I did it. It was nice exploring Freeport. Now I didn't go into town, it was just around the residential areas, but as I said, it was nice and quiet, a good way to get off the ship without taking the entire day away from the family. Tomorrow's gonna be a tricky day because we're at Royal Caribbean's private island and I've been there a couple times before and there's really not any place that you can run. It's a pretty small island. So tomorrow is going to be a treadmill day. In a mere matter of seconds, you are gonna see some treadmill footage. So that is something to keep watching the video for. By the way, I know there has been a lot of running footage and I know that running footage is the type of thing that I like to put on my videos. I also know that no one likes to watch minutes and minutes of running footage of me. So if you are still here, thank you. I guess now would be a great question to ask, do you like cruising? And when you do go on a cruise, if you are a fan of cruising, do you like running in the new places that you go to? Let me know in the comments. All right, friends, I will catch up with you in just a little bit. What's up, guys? Okay, so I'm on my way to the gym. Harmony and I are gonna do a little weight workout before I get on the treadmill. But you can see, you can see right behind me, the sun is just coming up. The sky is a beautiful blue. And this is the track on this ship. I'll try and take a bit of a, a video a bit later on so you can see it. And the track is eight laps to one mile. So there's a lot of laps going on if you're gonna do any significant run. This is the only run that I'm gonna be running on the ship. And I am just gonna take care of business on the treadmill this morning. All right, let's go do it. All right, Harmony and I just stopped out a solid upper body weight workout, just a short 20 minutes, but it really hit hard. Now it's time for me to get on the treadmill, and knock out this run. And I have to grab several towels because whenever I get on the treadmill, I just, it's a real soaker, a real soaker. I'm gonna be dripping all over the place. I am only three miles in. Only a 5k. Absolutely soaked. Hi right, guys, that's a wrap for the treadmill for the day. 8.1 miles or about 13 kilometers and more soaked with sweat than I've been in a long time. Thanks for staying all the way to the end of the video. My running on the Mariner of the Seas, visiting all over the Bahamas. Be kind, be happy, run well. See you in a couple of days. All right, I know I just signed off, but I realized I didn't show you guys the running track. So I'm gonna include a hyperlapse of one loop of the track for you right now. Enjoy. And if you thought I was just chasing some woman around the track, I wasn't, that was Harmony. She's right here. We are going to go enjoy the rest of our day. For the final time, be kind, be happy, run well. See you in a couple of days.